Okay. Hey everybody. Um, yesterday we made some cool. Let's see if we can find that. Um, pretty cool space illustration. I'm um, just checking YouTube real quick, just to make sure streaming's working. Okay. Um, that was pretty fun. Uh, I got that from Dribble over here. Uh, today I found another thing on Dribble that I kind of want. Scott Tusk has a lot of really neat illustrations that I, I think are really cool looking. So I'm going to try to do one of these. Great. Um, it looks like, you know, there's a sky. It's pretty typical. Uh, these mountains, which we'll probably get to last. This grass is pretty interesting, and then there's like these like looking hill looking things, and then three layers of the ocean. Pretty cool. Uh, I'll probably come back to this at some point and add in, I don't know, trees and mountains and boats. But today I'm looking to do just the sky, and then these layers of the of the sea and ground. Uh, the most interesting thing to me about this illustration is these, like, slopes. Um, I think that'll be a little challenging. What they kind of look like, though, are, like, tabs uh, in, like, a manila folder. And I've read some um, tutorials on that, how to solve that. Actually, there's some good tutorials in this book here. Let's see it. Let's pull that up. Yeah, you can see it uh, on how to draw some tabs. So I might consult that book. Um, cool. Let's get started. I have a vanilla Coke here. That I'm going to drink during this. Cheers. Okay. So let's do this. First things first. I will make the sky. I kind of learned some tricks. I was watching some YouTube videos last night. Uh, one of them is I can do height, like 100 pixels tab. Boom, look at that. Uh, that's a thing called Emmet, I believe, that CodePen has built in. Okay, uh, next is width, it would just be 100%. <laughs> That's so cool. And uh, I wonder what background color is. Background color, yeah. And we'll just go get this color. Oh, before I forget, I've been starting to do this, because I definitely didn't do this drawing or do really any of the creative work, so say inspired by and thank you again, Scott Tusk. This is a pretty cool drawing. I'm not claiming this work was my own. I'm just kind of trying to draw shapes and using you as inspiration. Uh, I'll maybe make this a little, a little taller here. Great, that's our sky. Actually, I don't know if I pull this up. Um, I wonder. There's a way to do this. Yeah, I want to change my view to... Something that looks like this. Yeah, that'll be a little better. Okay. And I can drop this now. Somehow. Collapse. Awesome. That'll be a little nicer. And then I can make this bigger again. Because that truly is how big the sky is. Okay. Next will be the grass. So I think the grass is actually, it's probably going to be multiple, multiple elements. We'll see how this works. I'll just go get the color now while I'm here. Um... We'll see how this goes. Uh, 
I'll have to put this right below the sky. So for that, I probably don't have to position absolute any of this now that I think about this. Let's let's not for now. Let's see if we can get away with just blocking these, um, stacking these using the block model. Um, yeah, and then height, will, let's start pretty small. Cool. So, what are we going after? I have to kind of build these up. No, I'm... Maybe I'll position relative these, and then I'll kind of do like uh, like hill one and hill two. And same, but hill two. Okay, so those will be absolutely positioned inside the ground. And those will still be green. But um, the first thing I'll do is I'll do this hill here. We'll ignore this over here. So I need basically a div to just sit on top of the hill and then do this interesting mound looking thingy so this is not so thick cool and let's place this on top of it so all the same things apply but this time Just set it right on top of that hill. I'll make it green just so I can find it. Or sorry, maybe purple. Where is it at? Hill H1. Ah. It's a class of hill. Okay, so that's great, and we'll put it above that. Yeah. Great. So the width is maybe, I don't know, like 25%. And then we'll put it over here where it belongs. So I don't really know why I'm doing these in percentages. That's kind of dumb. The width is like Well, maybe even 300. And this goes probably like 400 pixels to the left. Yeah, okay, great. Um, so that's all good and dandy. We'll turn this back to being, actually I'm gonna keep it purple for now just so we can kind of see what's going on. And um, I need the corners not to be boxy. For that, we go to this book, because <laughs> uh, I don't remember how to do it. If you'd like, I can post a link to this book in the, in the comments. Maybe I will. But um, I feel like a teacher. In chapter 19, uh, there's called the, uh, nope, not chapter 19. It's a different kind of corner. Let's find this. It's actually chapter 13, Trapezoid Tabs. They have a pretty good example of what this looks like. Um, yeah, so their example, can you see it here? Uh, yeah, that kind of looks like it. See the project tab? Um, so that's what I'm going to give a shot to, and I think I have a pen that does this already. Oh, I can actually go here. Play dot CSS secrets dot 
to trap these away tabs. With hyphen. And this is kind of what I'm looking for. So what does that look like? And I can just kind of put this on a hill. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't want this. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. I probably broke everything. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Alright. So I don't definitely don't need a box shadow. It's looking good already, actually. I'll turn this to green. Or I had it on purple. Um I don't need this gradient at all, actually. I mean that looks pretty good already. <laughs> So we should probably explain what's going on here, but probably in a different video. Um, and then this has EMs here. Uh, we'll just change that to pixels. Cool. Um, by default, half of an EM is eight pixels. I just know that because I think by default, the font size is 16, a half of an EM is eight pixels. So it kind of makes sense. Okay, so that's my hill. So let's put all this stuff in the hill. Border bottom none, I wonder why it has that. Great, don't need this anymore. I wonder if I can put the height, the default height here too. I learned another trick. Um, instead of purple, I can do current color. Oh no, that's dumb. No, I don't want to do that. I was thinking it would take the color of the ground, which I think it will actually. So if I just say color is this, I can make everything else current color. Is that right? Yeah, cool. And I have a little bit of, you can kind of see there's like a one pixel margin. Um, so I think I can do margin negative one. Padding negative one. Um, is my top just wrong? What do I have it at? Okay, 19. Great. Uh, so that's my first tail. That's not looking too bad. Um, and then it looks like I have a smaller one on top. No problem. So I can just make another one. Same dealy. But just change these values. I'm going to test if I can hear myself really quick. Same dealy, but just change these values. Okay, I can. I just want to make sure. And the top will go above it, so like 39. Cool. Uh, the width will be like half of it, like 150. And the left will be 450. 550. 500. Not quite. 460. 475? Eh, that's a hill. I feel like it's darker in this picture. Are we sure we got the right color? Definitely, definitely the right color. So the current color is kind of cool. Now I only have to change the grounds color. Yeah, if I change the grounds color, we're in the ground position here, or the ground class here. If I change it to like orange, all the ground would change. It's kind of neat. Oh, actually. Right. 
right. All of its children, because I said the color, yeah. So it's kind of cool, I guess. Actually, I think that's confusing because I'm really talking about background colors. So, I don't know. That's fine. All right. I think I want a hill over here. So these are now actually three and four. Three and four. And I want one and two, and the one and two will go over here. Same. Same deal. Okay. Uh, Weishorn asks, why am I doing this in exercise? Yeah, Weishorn, I'm just trying to really learn um, how to draw things in CSS. I think there's some there's some reasoning to this. Um, if I want to make fonts or, well, maybe not fonts, maybe logos or animatable logos, um, I think I want to do that in CSS. I could do it with SVG in CSS or something. Uh, but I think this is this this has some worthwhile things. Uh, also, if I want to make icons, um, those are kind of fun to do in CSS. So really, yeah, just a learning exercise. Um, but I think drawing in CSS is, is pretty powerful, especially when you can animate it afterwards. If you want to see some other things I've done, you can check me out on CodePen here. Um, I have some other things I've drawn. Or uh, Jeffrey Taylor on YouTube. Uh, you can see how I've drawn other things. I hope that answers your question, Wisehorn. Uh, okay, so back to my drawing. I want to make two more hills, but this time over on the left-hand side. Of, yep, of the screen. If there's anything you'd want to see me draw or um, do in CSS, I'd be happy to do it. Just leave a comment or something. Uh, I'd be happy to try to figure out how to do it in CSS. It's even more fun to do it in one single div element. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, I've, I've put this uh, single div. I've put this on a couple other my um, streams, but all these things are done in one div, which I think is nuts. Uh, so that's pretty neat. You can make really semantic markup, and someone just has put elephant in a, as a, a CSS class, and you get these. So this is kind of my inspiration. Um, but right now I'm kind of about drawing scenes or whatever. But these are all a single div. So that, that's the inspiration. That's where it came from. All right. I don't need this anymore. So I'll just take the same thing from hill 3. And this left will be like zero. Oh, I need the actual elements. Hill H1. Hill H2. Great. So this should show up, hopefully. H1. H2. And now it's super big, so I don't want, really want that. I want like 100. And apparently I do need a left, maybe 20. Too much. <laughs> Finding the right hack. I guess, uh, <laughs> why is one saying this, this feels like a hack? Yes, yes and no, I, I kind of agree. But at the same time, um, really understanding CSS is, is really what I'm, I'm trying to do. And I use CSS for lots of things. Um, so kind of understanding the box model, how to move things, and how to form things, I think it's a, it's a fun way to learn for sure. All right. And we'll just place these right on top. I think the real, the real maybe difference of drawing in CSS versus drawing in like uh, Adobe Photoshop or Sketch is I have all the tools and the power to animate anything that I'm drawing in the browser. Uh, I can animate it right away, so I don't need it 
to be, I don't know, like a like an image or a, a video. I can animate it how I'd like to 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 be. Um, and the, and the native language to do that in a browser is CSS. So I'm just I'm just writing these things in the language in the lingua franca of the web, which is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Uh, okay, 50 pixels, and then I'll just kind of move that right to the middle here. So 100. Uh, how about 50? That's a little too short. Cool. All right. Those are my two hills. And as you can see here, we did hill here and hill here. Okay, next is the water. Yes, Wisehorn. Uh, Wisehorn's right. Um, I can write my uh, SVG in line, no problem. Um, or I could export something that I draw in Adobe or Sketch into uh, SVG and they animate that as well. That's absolutely true. Um, and I hope to do some videos on that, how to draw something in um, a tool, export it as SVG, and then animate the rest. Um, for sure, absolutely. There is a fellow, oh man, I wish I remember his name. I'll pull him up, I'll put him in a link. Uh, he does some really good work doing this, um, and he documents his steps on how to, gosh, I should try to find him. I'm not going to be able to. Green sock animation logo. I'm going to try. Chris Gannon found him. So he does all sorts of really neat things um, with SVG, exporting it out of his tool and then putting in the browser and animating them. Uh, he's you know one of the best I've found. So if that's something you're interested in, you should watch his videos, they're pretty, pretty wild. Um, you can kind of see this. You could probably draw this in CSS now that you know some of these tools, um, but he does it in Adobe Illustrator, exports them and then animates them. Um, so I'm just taking a little bit different approach, really just to learn CSS. But at the end of the day, we still both have, you know, beautiful things. Chris Gann is probably more creative than I am as well. He can draw things out of the blue. I'm using kind of a crutch here. Uh, someone else made this. I'm just learning how to draw it. Yeah, it's cool. Chris Gann is a cool dude. He posts some really neat things on Twitter, too, if you want to follow him. All right, so the next layer I have is, uh, what do I want to call this, like Ocean 1. So Ocean 01. Cool. Uh, and this thing has this color. It's called Spiro Disco Ball. Interesting, interesting name for a blue color. So all the ocean classes will have this as a background, background color of that. And they'll all have a, no, they won't. Well, most of them will, width of 100%. And then I'll override it later. And a height maybe of, I don't know what I put the grass as, but let's try 100 pixels. Um, like 80. 50. I don't know. 80 is fine. Great. And this one's easy. This one doesn't have any tab looking things. All right. Next would be the next ocean. Oh, I should put this background color in 01. So. Oh. Wise one says there's plenty of different colors with weird names like the Alice Blue. This one has a history behind it. What's the history behind behind Alice Blue? I'm curious. I wonder where these names came from. If anyone has information on on where these weird looking names come from, I have all sorts of things. Flamingo, Flamingo makes sense. It's a it's actually the color of Flamingo. 
but uh, I don't know, Hades purple, that's a little odd to me. Mustard makes sense. Turbo is yellow. And the Spiro, Spiro Disco Ball, Spiro Disco Ball, it's still a weird color for blue. Okay, the next ocean that I have is Ocean 2. I should make that element here. And this has a different background color. Deep sky blue, that is a great name. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna how am I gonna do this? I'm just gonna make a huge long tab. And that's kind of interesting. This tab here, what we did for the grass that has like you know a, a, a left hand curve and a right hand curve. Um this only has a right hand curve. Oh no, I'm sorry. This only has a left hand curve. So I could animate this or uh push this off the screen, which I don't really want to do. But I could. While I'm at it. No, that'd be a hack. Uh speaking of hacks. Um what I want to do is I want to figure out how to make these tab looking things only one side. I think I can do it. So, the Ocean O2 has a, I'm going to call it like a wave. Cool. And if I have an ocean with an O2 and there's a child called wave, um, Background color is purple for now. That should show up. Okay, it's up there. Um, all right, so that's because I set it absolute. Um, and with no relative parent, the top and the left are at zero, zero. So if I can say this is a position relative, that purple should go down there. Cool. Uh, what that did is I have an absolutely positioned element with its inside a relatively positioned element. So the top and the left starting axis is zero, zero based on its parent, which is O2. Uh, cool. So that's actually negative 19. That'll go right up top, which it didn't this time. I wonder, all right, 25, 30. Oh, that makes sense, because it's 30 high. I have to put it 30 up. Okay, and then the left will be like a lot, like 700. Still more. Okay. I want to go right to the edge. 142 looks good and then I want to go get um, that code that I had for my hill um, but I have some challenges so let's let's see here okay first I don't need this height I don't need this background color all right, and then I want to take that left side border radius off, which I hope is just this. <laughs> no. Uh, darn it. Right. Nice. Cool. Look at that. Um, another video will go into these transform origins and and really all, all kinds of these weird shapes but that looks pretty good I actually kind of want to do this to this grass up here uh, what's that h1 I want to set its transform origin to bottom left 
Yeah, and then just move it over a little bit. Cool. And this is going to look a little better. Same, same deal. This. And this will also get a zero. Oh, man. But that's rounded, right? Well, I guess I can just move it over a little bit. No, it doesn't look too cool. Um, okay, fine. So I have to mess with the border radius as well, which will be this. Now it's not rounded anymore. And I do the same thing here. So this is zero and this is zero as well. Cool. Yeah, so without the, the rounded corner, it kind of looks like it's it's kind of coming in. So, neat. Uh, so we have a purple wave here. Let's make that blue again. Great. Is it the only wave? Yep, it is. Um, and then the same thing for the bottom one. Cool. This actually isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, this whole picture. Um, so we'll have a O3 with a wave as well. And that color is deep sky blue. Didn't I already do this color? Oh, that's interesting. This color and this color are both called deep sky blue, but they're obviously different colors. All right. Like I said, I'm gonna have to look up how these names come about because that actually doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, O3 is what I want. O3, not a zero, an O. So that's like that, and that will get a height. Oh, shoot. Cool. And that height's fine, actually. Um, and now I need a wave. So ocean of O3 has a wave. And that wave looks something like this wave. This guy needs to be positioned relative, which I kind of now just want to set on waves in general. And then we'll make it purple again so I can see what I'm dealing with. Cool. Uh, while we're at it, um, just kind of, oh, I already did that. I already put the ocean as position relative, so that was redundant. Great. Um, so now I can set this to the transform bottom left, so that looks like that. And then I'll set this to start at the very left, so that would just be zero. And I wanna make this super long, so like 400. Ooh, that's gross, look at that. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to set it super long. Actually, that's probably fine. What happens if, like, got a phone call. Go away. All right. So let's make this bigger again. Set my phone over there and all right. What's the deal here? Cool. So that's that. I want to make everything just a tad bit fatter, just to go to the bottom. 
Cool. Uh, so that's my basic layers. Uh, what do I want to do next? Um, let's do... Well, the moon will be easy, or whatever this is. The planet. So, we'll do that. So, in the sky, there is a moon. We'll go up here. Okay, so in the sky, there's a moon. And that has a background color of white. BTC of. Actually, that's fine. FFF is white. Uh, this will be positioned uh, absolutely. Um, it's kind of a big moon. And I want to make that circle, so that would be border radius of 50%, which will make it an exact circle. Except I need the same width and height. And that's huge, so how about 150? 150. Maybe a little smaller. <laughs> I said huge, I really meant like not that huge. And then um, the top is, I want it like right here, I guess. Actually, maybe like right here. So I don't know, how far is that? 250 pixels? Nope, way too much. And to the left, maybe the same, roughly. Cool. Maybe not to scale, but that works. And actually, now that I look at it, it's not exactly white. It's like grayish white. Lily white is the name. Great. That was easy. Um, it feels pretty empty, so maybe we should do mountains, which will be interesting. Um, okay, there's probably a bunch of ways to do this. We could like do it with like shadows or like, I don't really know. But it's kind of interesting, the mountains and the trees are the same. So once we solve this once, we will solve it for all. All right, uh, I'm not gonna pretend that I know how to make triangles in CSS, so we're gonna go CSS tricks, shapes. Save while I'm at it. Internet's not doing so hot. So that's not good. Maybe I'll open my door. I don't think that'll matter, but give me a sec. Okay, it loaded. Great. So I want like a triangle. Uh, will this work? Yeah, that'll work. So I'll take these. Um... Yeah, what else do we got? And then I'll need this triangle bottom left. Okay, so I'll need both those things. All right, so the ground has hills. I guess it also has mountains. And we'll call this M1, I guess. All right, what is a mountain? Um, gosh, well, let's see what happens. Huh, look at that. <laughs> it's right down there. Uh, okay, cool. So, 
So we'll make it bigger. Yeah, this will be fine. So like 500 pixels. Oh, and the Z index will be pretty large. That's my mountain, and I'm thinking I have to position it negative 200 if it's 200 tall. Is that right? Something like that, yeah. Okay, and I'll put this, maybe fix pixels to the... I think I want to do this one first. So, like, 400 pixels. Pixels. Great, um, and it's way fatter than that. Cool, and if the maybe I'll put the ZNX is like three, I don't know. But the ground, or sorry, the hills will have a Z index of four, I guess. Put it up here. So they show up above it, or over top of it, rather. Um, I'm not super happy with the width of that. We'll see how it goes. Um, <laughs> it looks like a pyramid. So let's go get the color. I'm struggling how to, to do this. I think I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out how, how I do the colors. So where's the red? It's right here. Cool, beautiful. Um, so, how does this work? Ground has a mountain, and the mountain will have an after, I guess. And that after is another triangle that looks like this. And because it's a pseudo element, I need a content. Um, and then top of zero, left of zero. Where is it? What did I do wrong? Ground is a mountain and an after. Uh, I don't know. We'll make it huge so I can find it. But it's red and the ZNX is like a hundred. <laughs> Where'd it go? All right, I'll just say mountain after. The content is this. Position absolute. Great. Um, and this will be the same as the others. So these would just be 200. So it's half of it. And now, just need the color. Astronaut blue. Look at that, I made a mountain. Uh, so we just need to do a couple more of these. Um, cool. So that's M1. I wonder how I can do this. Can I do this like 100%? Is that a thing? What if I did it relative?
No, okay. Let's go back. I was thinking, like, how do I make this thing fill it up? Huh. Nope, doesn't like it. And 100% is not, it's not doing it. All right, fine. Okay, uh, so this is really mountain M1 after. And this is really mountain M1, and then we'll find out what I can do with just mountain. So I'm about to make a bunch of mountains, so before I do that, I mountain want to figure out what I can grab. So. That's part of every mountain. This is part of every mountain. It's kind of interesting. The height and the width are zeros because this is all border left and border right. And I guess all mountains will have a z index of 3. Let me go to start with, I guess. All right. Great. Um, let's make another mountain. There's a lot of code. So let's do this one. I'm going to have to change all the M's because the way my mind works is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just remember that we'll make this bad boy or this bad boy one. So right now this is one, but it should be four. Um, maybe I should just do that now. This is mountain, mountain four. All right, so let's make mountain one. Mountain one is just this thing, which is just this thing. Easy enough. I'm also gonna have some z-index problems, but that's okay. So I have a ground, and on the ground I have a mountain, and this mountain is M1. Just do that right there. And the first thing I'll do is make this pretty big. The last ones are 200 pixels, so this can be 200 pixels too. And the top would be negative 200 pixels. Boom. And this color is astronaut blue. Okay, is that how that worked? It's a little smaller, um, so like 170 maybe? Which makes this 170. Cool. Um, Wise one says, looks like too much of border things duplication. I'm not sure what you mean by that. You mean by all my code that I'm duplicating over and over and over again? You might be right. Actually, you're exactly right. You're saying I could probably do... Well, see, i got to set the... Can I just set the... Okay, I see what you're saying. So if I set these bad boys on the mountain, which is fine, I'll set these to 200 because that was by default. Now I don't need this at all. No, I still do. We can come back to cleaning up the code. But I see what you're saying. Mount yeah, you're right. Mountains do look the same. Uh, how can I fix this? Well, I don't need these anymore because I set that on mountain. Uh, I definitely need the top for each mountain. And I, you're right. I only should have to set 
these guys and optionally the color but most of the colors will be this color here you're definitely right let's try a couple more and see if we can't fix this so let's make another mountain and we'll see uh, what similarities I can grab there's a rule sometimes I follow called the rule of three which we're gonna hit here in a second where I don't try to I don't know why I'm doing this um, don't try to come with a pattern until I see three, but I mean, there's definitely going to be a very easy pattern here. So what am I talking about? Um, this is going to look like much like, nope, D doesn't work, much like mountain four, just a little bit in a different spot and probably a different Z index actually. Uh, but let's copy these knowing that this is all duplicate code. And then we'll just move this like 200, maybe like 100, maybe like 50. And this has a Z index not of three, this goes behind everything. So like two, cool. Yeah, this is like of like 10. Five. Zero. Oh, okay. So it's hitting right here. And that's my zero. Hmm. Annoying. <laughs> Not sticking out. Uh, okay, I can fix that, I guess. Oops, negative 80. Uh, you can see it here. I can make this a margin of nothing. I guess I'll do that. This is the first hack I think I have. <laughs> So HTML has a margin of zero. No? Padding of zero? What? Margin of zero. What the heck? Oh, I'm so confused. I guess that works. Is it body? That's. Yeah, you might be right. Thank you. <laughs> Wiseborn suggested body, and he was 100% right. Thank you. All right, so now we can go even further with our mountain two. Probably like 100. Cool. And then we need to do a pseudo element here. And you're right, I'm like tired of duplicating this code already. M2 after. I think I can do this in a shadow. I really do. So let's fix the easy stuff. I can make a mountain pseudo element. And do the easy stuff there. Pretty much all this stuff. I don't know why this index is 100. How about like 6? Cool. But this guy doesn't have one. Right. Right, right, right. Well, I can fix that kind of easily. I'll just set its content to something else. Maybe. <laughs> what am I doing? I 
I need to come back to this. Code duplication it is for now. I'm probably making very many people angry on the stream. But that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm sorry. So this goes here. Great. Next is Mountain 3, which is this guy, which looks like kind of the same place as my Mountain 2. <laughs> so how about negative 150? All right, cool. These mountains are tedious. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, where were we? Oh, Mountain 3. Okay, and that looks a lot like Mountain 2 and Mountain 4. But because I suck, we're going to copy and paste right now. Um, and then we'll just move the left to like 200. And this is interesting. This is the index is different. So, all right, all right, all right, I'm tired of this. Let's start over. So let me go back to this editor here. And let's, let's do this the right way. All right, let's go revisit mountains. Mountains is this, great. And it has the index of three, great. Uh, mountains are also all triangles except for this bad boy, but I can actually deal with that differently because now I don't need that to be an extra different shape. So this will go back to being that. Well, hold, hold your horse there for a second. This will just be like negative 180. This is the index is super high, <laughs> like seven. Oh, what am I doing? And this needs an after. And the grass will now get, or the hills rather, will now get a Z index of like 10. This is not super simple, or maybe I'm just confusing myself. Um, okay, so now I can genericize these. This that was silly. That was truly silly. All these mountains are the same. <laughs> this still has the index of a hundred, which is also really silly. Um, all right, but I don't need these anymore. So get out of here. Oh man, this is getting hard. So a mountain is this, not quite. I need the triangle in here, but the mountain after is always something that looks like that. Yeah. Um, okay. this out. Great. Oh, 
Okay, much better. <laughs> that ZNX of 100 is still there, probably, yeah, so that can be like seven. Yep, okay. Very good. So now these are all just left positioned. That's all I need here. That's fine. I don't need this at all. Deleting code feels so good. This is just left positioned. I should have looked at my code line count before this. And I can delete this as well. Okay. Makes you feel a little better. Look at that. <laughs> That's really what I'm working with. <laughs> Not something so so wide. Illustrating in CSS, you gotta think about so many things. All right, so <laughs> we'll go back to my other view. All right. I'm out of vanilla Coke. Okay, where were we? We were making mountains. One, two, three, four, we have three more to go. But now this should go pretty quickly because we just have to move it over. And really now I'm thinking about it, I can use, um, <laughs> although I struggled with it last stream, I can use uh, nth child here instead of labeling these all. Another refactor that I can do. Look at that mountain, just showed up. I'm running out of space. Oh, that's ugly. Overflow hidden. Nice, cool, doesn't scroll anymore. Fixed it. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, back to the mountains. Um, I think everything just needs to move over a little bit. This guy needs to move over, so that'll go here. That'll go here. Uh, we get two more. Five and six. Or no, just six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll make those now. Six and seven. Six, seven. And I gotta deal with the Z index here. Let's see if I got this right. That's interesting, this one's blue. Um, which is this guy. So Mountain M7 has a background color of this. Oops. So many mountains. We might roll with six mountains. So let's fix the Z index. So um, one needs to be, we'll just do 10. So 
So 1 and 7 will get 9. How much? How about... Cool. We'll do that to one. And then what gets the lowest? That's two and four, five. So we won't touch those. And then the next ones are three and six. They'll get eight. going on over here is that is that my boy m7 just whacking out why is it doing that <laughs> let's put this over here it's like a freaking square what's the deal In. Oh, right, because <laughs> I'm setting the wrong thing on the color. Yeah, so that was doing all its boxy things. I need this. Yeah, it's not actually background color, it's border color. Wisehorn is quick on these things. Thank you, Wisehorn. I appreciate that. Um, okay, that looks pretty good. We could probably move six a little bit over. So these positionings are different than what I'm going with. Also, one, two, three, four, five. This bad boy needs to go in the center. Well, I'm just kind of saying, like, screw you, Mountain 7. I don't really like it. I think my, um... My width is just a little different than what I'm going off of. So I think that's okay. Yeah, I'm cool with that. All right. Now, let's push the sky down just a tad. I wonder how much that'll break. Probably a ton of things. If I make it like 420. Nothing. I broke nothing. Fantastic. So now I don't have that white thing down below. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Uh, the next thing I can do here, what am I going to do? I just had a little bit of time left. Um, I could do the trees. That would be fun. I don't want to tackle the boats today, or I could do these little bubbles. You know what? I, am, I think I'm going to stop here. Uh, the next session, which will probably be tomorrow, um, I'll fill in the details. So I'll do the clouds, which I've done a couple videos on. You could go to my YouTube and see it. Um, the trees, which would be fairly straightforward. It's just like mountains. The hardest part will be the index. These bubbles will just be divs with the fat border radius. And um, we'll see how these bows go. Again, if there's anything you want me to draw, illustrate, animate, um, leave a comment. I'd be happy to do it. And I probably don't know how, but uh, I'm happy to learn, and I'm happy to show you the learning process. Um, thanks for your questions and your help. Shout out to Wisehorn for helping me through this. Um, if you want me to do some SVG videos, I'd be happy to do that as well. Until next time, see you later.